Hey guys, I am excited to try a new project. <laughs> this is something that I've always wanted to try and never have before. What I want to do is take pictures of splashes and pores. So uh, you know those beautiful images where someone has taken a picture of like a cookie being dropped into milk or something and the, the milk just like is frozen in time and it's just beautiful. Never done this before, but I'm excited to try. So I have uh, a speed light, which is a flash that goes on top of my camera. And I have a, probably can't even see that. <laughs> it's a, a, the plastic insert from a cheap photo frame. So I'm gonna use that on my surface, I think, to try and, uh, and get something a little bit protective and shiny and uh, Let's get started. <laughs> I would like a black background, but the uh, black that I have is fleece, so I expect it to get somewhat messy. However, maybe I can just throw it in the wash when I'm done. I have the black background under the plastic piece, but I want to somehow raise up the, uh, the back so that it's black behind it. I need something to drape it on. Tripod. Okay. <laughs> that might work. We have the tripod draping the black fleece background and the plastic right up near to it. I have the speed light on my camera, but I haven't gone through the, the instructions on this yet, so I may actually need to have flash off camera, but uh, we'll see. Next, I'm gonna set up what I'm going to splash. <laughs> and uh, I know I have a pretty wine glass, but I'm gonna check and see what else I might have. Okay, so I have two wine glasses and I like the idea of a milk creamer. Um, might have to fill it with milk, we'll see. <laughs> I'm not sure what else. Gathering, gathering. So what I'm thinking is the wine glasses may not work because I don't have any, <laughs> I don't have any wine looking liquid. I do have water, I have milk. Um, I might have juice, I could check to see. Okay, so I'm thinking that if I'm going to use water and milk, that I'm going to swap out the wine glasses for some regular glasses. And it might be really interesting to drop some clementines into the water. I'm just, I'm playing around. It's fun. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna swap them out. So I'm thinking before I waste milk, <laughs> I'm gonna try the water first. And I have the one glass there. And uh, now I'm gonna go get my 70 to 300 lens. I don't know if that's the right lens. I'm gonna try it. Because what I want is to get close up on the image without being really close with the camera. I don't need the camera full of water or milk. I just want to get the image. Turned off the room light because I don't want extra light on my background. I want it to be all the light on the uh, on the subject. Now I'm going to turn on the light for another minute. 
I'm going to actually put the camera on the table and closer to my subject. something we need it's a leap of faith a step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave so take a look around you how far can you see how far do you think you can run standing on your knees it's a beautiful world out there just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there It can be a bit frightening With something you don't know You need a little enlightening It'll make you grow It's a beautiful world out there just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there oh, It's a beautiful world out there and Just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there Oh, if you have the will It's really hard to time the flash to the splash. <laughs> so I'm taking lots and lots and lots of images and they are mostly not working. <laughs> I either get it before the splash or after the splash. And uh, the reason why it's even more difficult is there's a bit of a delay with my remote to the flash triggering. So uh, do my best. <laughs> Another thing I've made sure to do is before I started pouring anything, I took an image of the glass of water on the clean background and then the milk creamer on the clean background so that I can combine these images in post-production so that I don't have a complete mess around the splash when I do actually capture it. messy <laughs> okay first lesson have a lot of extra towels on hand so I have the flash on the top of my uh, camera and then I have a side light here for my subject and uh, I just like the way that it looks. So I have the black background side light that lights up the liquid as it pours and hopefully the splash. I have my camera on 1 1 25th of a second and um, ISO 100 and F8, F11. It really I, depends on the light, but I want to make sure that my splash, when I finally capture it, is not blurry. So uh, a little bit higher uh, on the f-stop and um, yeah, I turn off the overhead lights and, uh, and just have fun with it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun.
this was a really fun project. <laughs> it was really, really fun. I really enjoyed uh, experimenting and playing around. The hardest part was definitely the timing of the splashes and the flash. But other than that, it's not actually that difficult. So I may do this again. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own knees. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. If you have the will and the moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there.